Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're going to look at a few different ways to discover directories that are hidden from search engines. So we've covered things such as Derb, Derbuster, and Fuff, and GoBuster, and tools like that. So this is a way to find directories and files that we know are available, but are just not supposed to be stored by search engines or crawling bots. And then once we identify these pages, I'm gonna show you the most common ways to bypass these filters and to be able to view these pages that we're not supposed to have access to. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I have pulled open the HackerOne directory for the programs, and I wanna show you how to find files and directories that these companies don't want search engines, such as Google, to be able to crawl and store in their database. So we can just scroll down, find one that looks nice to you. We'll go with LinkedIn, scroll down to see what's in scope. We have LinkedIn.com. So we can come over here, open up LinkedIn, it looks like it actually opened up over here. And one of the places you can always go to is robots.txt. Hit enter and all of these disallows are not supposed to be stored by search engines. So it'll actually tell you the Google bot and if you go through and read this, it'll tell you all about the purpose of this page. And you can go and try and test all these different directories and files or see what's in here. So a lot of these, once you start getting to like account.php or admin.php or just administrator, a lot of these are gonna be blocked or and you're gonna get a forbidden page or a redirect. And I wanna show you how you can test to see if you can bypass some of these forbidden and redirects that you'll find within these disallows. And just so you know, like this is always a great place to come and look for directories to test and see what you can find is the robots.txt it's really common and on a big target like linkedin i'm sure lots of people have already gone through these so you might want to look at smaller targets not as big as linkedin if you're going to look through these so we'll go ahead and stop here because this everything else inside the robots.txt is kind of going to be out of the scope for the purpose of this video so we're going to go ahead and start looking at how to bypass some of these filters and looking at forbidden pages i'm going to go ahead and pull up the box Previce on hack the box and we'll walk through an example okay so here we are on hack the box i have loaded the provice file storage box you can see the ip address right here and we are at login.php and one of the things you will notice is if you come up here and hit enter we just get this redirect right back to the login page and when we come and run our go buster you can see we have this forward right here we have all these redirects so if we come to the interceptor and we want to look at what this looks like. We can hit this and we can say send to repeater. We can turn this off and we come over here and when we send this, we get this 302 not found and then we can follow the redirect and then when we render it, we are brought to this page that we see right here. So one of the things you can do to bypass something like this or even a forbidden page is to come back to our interceptor and turn the interceptor on. And now when we see something like this, we can say send and then we'll catch it over here in burp. This is the page we need. You can go to do intercept and intercept the response. And then when you forward it, we're going to hit this response and you can just change this to a 200 OK. And then when you forward it, you're now brought to the actual root page. And now in this specific box, what we are, we're trying to hit the accounts page and we can copy this. And now turn our interceptor back on, paste in the accounts and send it. And we want to do intercept send 200 okay forward and we are brought to a page that it says only admin should be able to access this page this is one way to bypass like a forbidden or a redirect or not found if you think there's actually a file like this accounts.php then this is one way to get around it. I wanna show you another way to get around these here in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and load up Hacker 101, the CTF page, and you can do this as well. And then I'll show you where we're going from there. On Hacker 101, the CTF, you will have to have an account to get to this page if you wanna practice this. But what I want to show you is right here in this easy CTF. So you can go ahead and open this up. And we're gonna try and find a forbidden page 
that we want to access the information that's on it. So if this was like a real test, what you do is you just come and you start clicking around and see what the web application does. And when we look at the URL, we see this page one. And when you see a one like this, or if it had, if it looked something like this and it was passing in a parameter, and we saw this page equals one, then what you would do is you would just change this two and you'd change this three and I accidentally hit enter. And so what you can do is just come in here and look to see what is in here and you can check out all the different pages. And you can also do this inside of Burp, which will actually save you some time, but we'll save that for another video. And when we hit page six, we hit this forbidden right here and it says you don't have permission to access this. This will happen a lot of times when you have like an admin panel, something like an admin right here, or you have like a config or some file right here. You'll see something similar to this that we see with this forbidden and there's ways to try and get around it. And specifically in this CTF, the way to get around something like this is you can come into this markdown and then you can edit the page. It'll tell you right here, you have the ability to edit and let's say we were signed into our own, but we hit a forbidden. We can come over here and we can just type in this page six and now you have the flag because the page six was blocked, but whenever the edit parameter was passed in here, it was not blocked. So there are ways to get around this. They are rare that you're going to be able to find these, but they do happen. So these are a couple of different ways to get around forbidden or redirects that you will see inside of CTFs. So there you have it. A few different ways to access these pages that we're not supposed to be able to access and a really easy common way to find these files and directories that we're not supposed to have access to through the robots.txt. Thanks for watching.